Hey everyone, I hope you are well. It has been a while since I have done a YouTube video um, to share on my um, YouTube account. Um, I have been sharing some um, videos in the um, Bless It Forward Bible Journey community. Um, I have been doing some um, live videos um, in there to obviously encourage and inspire everybody and to get us to connect and um, chat together and things like that. Um, so I thought we did one last night and it was really really good fun um so i thought i would just do a quicker version of um what i did to add on to my youtube channel um so you can see this lovely um bible journey entry here this is what we had fun doing last night we had fun um looking at pastel chalk soft pastel chalks um and different ways to use them um, and this was one of the um, techniques I showed people how you can very, very easily do. Um, and I'm going to quickly show you now. Um, so I'm going to move that out the way. La -di -da -di -da. Right, so quick um, few um, basic things first. Obviously, what I am going to use to show you the um, entry I just showed you is I am going to use um, soft pastel chalks um, so I buy these off um, Amazon and they don't cost much I don't buy like the most best brand going I will just buy any cheap pastel chalks that I can find um, because obviously my pennies are tight <laughs> so I don't buy expensive products so there we are this one obviously was a nice big, little um, big little range big little range that really doesn't make sense does it um but this one was a nice little package and obviously got really nice colors you can get smaller packages and i think you can maybe even get some bigger ones but i saw these ones on offer a while ago and i picked them up because i thought they will do they were a good price and that's what i've got so um obviously what i'll just quickly show you is um we had fun last night um just showing how you can create some really nice different backgrounds with your pastel chalks and things like that there's so there's some of the different things we had fun doing um yesterday so obviously um this one was just like covering all pastel chalks all over the page and just blending them in and rubbing them in and using different colors until you're happy with something and then we tried doing like block pattern bits with your chalks again just rubbing them in and stuff like that and then obviously we used um like some different shaped cutouts to help us do things like that and obviously i'm now going to show you obviously this technique um because it's the same as the picture we just um entry we saw a minute ago so i just moved them out where i just thought i might show you so obviously as i say if you're not part of our bless it forward bible journaling community do come and join us we would love for you to come and join us and connect and share with us we are a group of people from all over the world who just love to um you know encourage each other and build each other up in our love for god's word and our love for god and stuff so yeah come and join us so i'm just going to bring back the entry um i did and just say this entry i did here um i created a um free template for it hopefully you can see, which is on the um, Blessed Forward Ministries website um, and you can download it for free. Um, those who know me will know, obviously you can go to my website and get quite a few free downloads. So those who don't know me, pop on over, have a look. I have got hundreds of free downloads you can um, access. Um, I have um, several different sections under the free printables um, tab on the website. You can find um, like free bookmarks you can print off and colour in or trace in and things like that. You can find free reading plans, free sets like this, all sorts. So go and have a nosy um, at what you can find. Um, so yeah, that, you know, so go and check that out. So I thought I would just mention that. Um, so I'm going to move this out of the way again now. I just thought I'd mention the free download quickly so i'm going to demonstrate i'm just going to demonstrate obviously the technique um on some plain a5 paper um because obviously i i'm not going to add it into my bible if i don't need to but obviously when i create on this a5 bit of paper um i can stick it into my um, bible somewhere if i want to um later on as a um tip in um so obviously those who don't know what a tip in is it's just where you obviously will create something on a bit of extra paper and sellotape it into your bible 
um, I do have a video on that so look it up um, so I'm just going to create it on on here um, and maybe if I don't want to stick it into my bible I might put it in a you know in a letter for a bit of happy mail or something like that right so I have for demonstrating created as promised from the video last night I have created another freebie and I have created this freebie with all these different sort of words on that you could use for this technique or you can use them for um, something else if you wish but I said to people um, when I did the live video in um, the community group on Facebook I would create some more words they could enjoy using for this technique so I'm going to be using this so what you need to do is, or what I do is first, obviously it's completely up to you. So what I do is first, obviously I, I would take my um, word that I wanted or words that I want and then I will cut them out. So obviously here I have done a couple already to save time because I knew my videos can go on and on and on sometimes. Um, so I have already done some already. So all I simply do is obviously print off my printable and um, then I would um, get my craft knife. So obviously this is a craft knife and then I will simply, I'll just show you one, cut around the outline of the letter like so. very carefully um if you want i think you can cut them out that wouldn't be an issue i think your issue is when you're cutting them out you might have obviously struggle a little bit with the inside bit so i use a craft knife and obviously a craft knife you can buy from amazon you can buy from your local craft stores and things like that so, I think I did it. Did I do it? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, a minute. So, yeah, I would just simply cut it out like that and obviously cut my whole word out. So, I'm just going to move that and put that safe because that's very, very sharp. Always be careful with your craft knives. So, obviously, I have um, cut my hope out already. So obviously I don't have to spend too long. And then here on top, of, I've got my faith. It's on top of my boom box where I play my worship music nice and loud and sing along to it. So I've already got them. And then what I do next is, is I will take my letters. Um, I will use the hope. I will take my letters and um, I will put them onto my bit of paper or a Bible journey page that I'm going to do my entry on and I will just um, stick them down with a little bit of um, blue tack and um, so I don't know I think um, I don't know obviously I'm sure someone says um, in the USA you call it adhesive putty or something I'm not sure um, so I just take some obviously it's just like a you stick pictures on the wall with it and stuff like that so obviously I will just take some of that and I will stick it onto the back of my letters like so. Obviously it is a bit fiddly. So obviously, and as I was saying in the video last night, when you're doing these um, fiddly bits like this, um, this is your perfect opportunity to stick your worship music on and sing and praise to God pray and chat with God and things like that because obviously when we're doing our Bible journaling it's not meant to be rushed we're meant to be you know connecting with God drawing closer to God learning from his word and things like that so chat with him ask him what he's trying to say to you what he's trying to show you what is he trying to you know just yeah chat with God that's what that's what we're meant to do <laughs> um so obviously I would do this and I would do it on all my letters so obviously I've already prepared these um so it doesn't take me um too long as i say to make the video and then what i would do is obviously i want to stick them on my page so it's up to you how you want to stick them on so i'm not particularly worried at the moment how i'm putting them on because i'm just thinking of quickness right now i'm going to put them on a bit wonky i think give them a bit of a bit of a thingy and like so so as you can see i have got them all stuck down onto my 
bit of paper I'm going to use. And then what I do is, obviously, I will decide what colours I want to use and things like that. Have a ponder um, and see what colours what I want to use. Um, I'm going to go for some purples, I think, for this. And then all I would do is I would take my chalk and I will rub it all over the paper like so. I'm going to take a bit of a darker purple and put some darker purple bits in. Um, don't really, obviously, it's got no like <laughs> no sense to it. It just do it anywhere and everywhere. And then what I might do is I might add a bit of um, this colour in as well. What I tend to do is I just tend to go with anything and see what happens. Right, then obviously I might have to come back and keep doing that. But what I do is then obviously I take some tissue. Um, so I've got some like spare napkin, back plies of napkins. So obviously if you do napkin Bible journaling, um, you can use all the different plies you take off your napkins. I will be doing a live video in our Bus It Forward community group for napkin journaling um, so as I say come and join us in there because I plan on doing more live videos in there um, I will try and also share a version on my YouTube channel and then obviously as you can see I just rub around carefully the card oh that's beautiful I'm liking the look of that and obviously I have to what I will do is obviously as I said I will keep going round with my chalk for a little bit and like so I would just keep going round and keep doing it until I am happy with it I'm going to get the darker colour again. As I say, no real pattern to it or anything. I just literally scribble and dash all the chalk around everywhere and anywhere. I might just do a little run up there. I kind of like some more of this purple here. I think maybe a bit here I might go for a bit there a bit there but yeah hopefully that will give you an idea I'm getting this P a bit so I think I've missed the P a bit there there we go and that is that done so I'm just going to pop those chalks out the way um, obviously you do get um, chalk dust residue and I do recommend you keep some baby wipes or a wet cloth or something by your area when you're journaling like this just so you can wipe your hands and stuff on to get rid of the chalk dust. Let me just move my chalks out of the way and obviously wipe your surfaces down with just to get rid of some of the um, chalk dust. I will obviously dry it as well. There we go and then that is finished like that so what um i do then is obviously very carefully peel off the the letters and the blue tack and hopefully if you can see obviously because obviously i never know how the contrast looks when you're watching the video you can see the faith letters obviously I left white I just keep blowing the chalk dust and what I do say to people is sometimes you do get a little bit of chalk dust onto your white areas that you want just get your a little pencil with a rubber on top 
and just rub those areas carefully to get rid of it but quite often like that so I'd just do and then obviously what I'm going to do now is I am going to seal it and set it and obviously to do that you use some um, hairspray cheap hairspray or you can use a fixative spray if you wish it's totally up to you um, and obviously you just spray it from a distance so obviously doing this just stops it from obviously um, rubbing off your other pages off to your other pages on your in your bible and stuff like that it just sets it so just i'm just going to pat it a little bit and then that is done and then what i'm going to do is um it's up to you you can use felt tips um, gel pens fine liner pens watercolored pencils normal pencils is um i'm just going to go around and outline the the letters to give it a bit more of a pop so let me quickly show you with faith what I mean. So I'm using some Jelly Roll gel pens. There we go. And I absolutely love this technique. Um, I love using pastel chalks as well, as I was saying to everybody in my live video in um, the community group. I absolutely love using pastel chalks. It's because you can create some really, really beautiful backgrounds and you can still read your um, words through them in your Bibles. So if you're someone who thinks, oh, I want to create some lovely backgrounds in my Bibles, but um, I don't want to cover my words up so I can't read them. This, you know, pastel chalks is a great way to do that. So just so you know, that's, I love doing that. Obviously, if I was doing this in my Bible, I would use watercolored pencils for reading through. Because if you put your watercolored pencils on just light enough, um, obviously, when you wet them a little bit, um, you can still read the words through the through the watercolored pencils. So we are nearly done. Obviously, I am rushing a bit, so if it looks a bit messy, that is why. <laughs> but hopefully, just because obviously I want you to see, so that is faith, and obviously, hopefully, you can really see that is nice and poppy. And obviously, I just put that other bit of card down there just so it doesn't smudge too much if it's still a little bit smeary, but it shouldn't be too much after you sealed it. I'm going to use pink for the next hope as well there we go there we are i think we're doing good <laughs> Uh -huh. um, there we go. Nearly there. So, and like I say, these are amazing. You know, you can create these. I mean, at the moment, create these, stick them in your window, um, to encourage people and things like that. Pop one for your neighbour's door to encourage them. And like I say, you can do any word you want. So obviously I, on the website, I've created a little download with different words on. Go and get it. It's free. So yeah, and um, that is that. That is how you create this absolutely gorgeous, beautiful background um, to use in your journaling.
So I hopefully that has encouraged you, that has inspired you, that has given you um, maybe something new to try. If you've not tried it before, I don't know. As you know, if you know me, I just love trying to encourage and inspire each other and giving people tips and things like that, um, even if it's just for one person. Um, like I always say, come and find us. Come and find us on Facebook. Come and find us on the Blessed Forward Ministries Facebook page or the Bi Blessed Forward Bible Journey community. Come and connect and share with us. Um, you know, help me share my videos and things like that to get them out there to encourage and inspire other people. Um, you know, let's get, you know, enjoy being creative with God's word and encouraging people. You know, we can have fun with God's word and still learn and grow in it and become deeper in it and stuff like that um so yeah god bless you all i will be back soon with another video bye